Pop Trick Daddy say, you a hoe, but you can't help it, but you don't know it. Most of you niggas is racist, but you can't help it, because you don't know it. You niggas kill more niggas than anybody. They play you niggas killing each other music in the stadiums now. They play this bullshit music about sleeping with young girls in the stadiums now. They want you niggas to hear this shit. When I came up in school, my mama taught me that the devil uses music. My mama taught me the devil uses music. And listen to what the f our music sound like. And you tell me what the f wrong with these kids? We used to sing about love. We used to rap about unity. We used to rap about peace. Now look what we rapping about. We either rapping about sex and little, sex and little hoes, the nigga deep in your throat. We either having girls rapping about, let me guzzle the back of my throat. The women are saying this shit too. Beyonce tell single women and church women to be thoughts. Meg the Stallion telling you to take your them clothes off and shake your ass. It ain't no more Erica Badu's. It ain't no more soul music for women. All it is is thotting and lusting and whoring. All it is is niggas killing each other. But then we looking up talking about what the f is going on. What the f is going on is we didn't listen to the Lawrence Tucker. We like Tupac too much. She said this shit was bullshit, and she was right. And it's high time somebody said it. She was right back then, and we paying the consequences for this shit now. We openly rapping about the murder of our children. And no other race do that. We openly rap about the murder of our baby. Show me the race that does that. Other than us. But yeah, this was a different week we used to Wednesday. We got to call out the bullshit. We are the weakest we. We allow shit in our community that other people won't. We allow pastors to be controlled by 501 three C's so they can't even preach the Bible. We allow people to bring money into our community and control our community and they pay for our dysfunction. We allow fake ass rappers and, and people that act like they down for black people but they won't vote for the right thing. We talk about prison reform, we talk about politics, we, got, we still got niggas saying, I don't fuck with politics. Then why the fuck are you got a free your homeboy t-shirt on there, nigga? Why the fuck are you in a rap song talking about free your guys? Cause nigga, you ain't gonna free no guy without politics, nigga. You can rap all you fucking want. You can put it on a t-shirt all you motherfucking want. Without politics, you won't be able to do shit. But politics, is the way of life economics statistics politics you have to know it you can't say free your guys and free your niggas if you ain't doing politics if you ain't listening to whatever the bill is that's supposed to free your nigga wherever you at if you ain't looking at what they're doing for prison reform police reform and all the things with the ebb and flow of money then nigga you need to stop talking about free anything you full of shit. You just bullshit. You just wanna talk. You want clicks and views. You want clicks and views. Cause the reason why the state of black America is the way that we are now is cause too many niggas don't know nothing about politics. If you knew anything about politics, you would not vote with your emotions. You wouldn't give a damn about who racist give a damn about who pushing the policy that you like. That's what you give a about. Policy over emotions. 
vote these emotional policies in and we got bullshit results. It ain't shit change. And can't nobody tell me nothing. Stop getting people to vote with their emotions and get people to understand what politics is. That ain't got nothing to do with it. And if they can do it all over again, they'll do it all over again. To every race. Irish, J people, Indian people, all people. If they think you're weak, they'll take advantage of you. We got a whole black culture thinking that it's, it's cool to be gangsters. It's cool to leave your family and go to prison. That's what's real. So yeah, by the 13th Amendment, the more we can get them arrested and give them baseball numbers, shit, it's slavery right now again. So now we got willful slaves. You look at it as a rite of passage to go to prison and become a man. Making yourself a slave. Don't nail white boy in prison makes them a man. They think going to college. They think being better than their father. They think having a better business than their brother. They compete from day one. We fight each other from day one. Go look at the largest population of blacks and you're gonna see some of the most violence you've ever seen per capita. At one time in the 90s, Louisiana is not even that big, but Louisiana was the murder capital of the world and it was damn near all black. So, we're talking about building a black Wall Street and building a black anything, when you can't even be around each other without killing each other, how the f can you build a black whatever? Building a black whatever would be the most dangerous build you can ever build. Yeah, yeah, building a black whatever would be the most dangerous build you can ever build. We brag about killing each other. We don't brag about building with each other. You go look at the populations that are most dense with black folks and you will see some of the most hellacious killing you can ever see. Some of the smallest town, Louisiana again, is not that big. And they was the murder capital of the world and proud of it. Niggas will tell you, nigga, why? I'm from the wall and bit, why? I'm like, you niggas are bragging in front of white people about killing each other. And then when a white person do it, you turn around and say, black lives matter? Nigga, do you know how insane you look? You just mad because you ain't the one that killed them? It's like niggas be mad. Oh, a white man killed somebody. God, I'm pissed off. I ain't get the body. That would have been number seven for me. And when a black man got seven bodies, he prays. A white man get one. He the devil. Nigga, how many bodies it take for you to make you the devil? How many bodies it take for your black ass to become the worst thing we ever seen? So I'm supposed to be mad with you when a white man kill a nigga, but you can brag about being a killer of niggas. No. No, um, I can't do it with you. I can't pretend. Until we condemn all killing, don't you tell me about nobody white killing. That shit don't make no sense. You niggas brag about your niggas being hitters. You niggas are proud to say your niggas are killers. And you ain't talking about killing no white people. You talking about killing black people. And you niggas be proud of this shit. That's why you so mad when somebody else do the job that you want to do anyway. I don't kill niggas. I don't kill white people. I'm a sidewalk nigga. So why can't you niggas just be men? Why you gotta kill niggas so much? Until you not proud of killing niggas, don't tell me shit about no white people 
killing niggas. We are our biggest enemies.